here with my dad, Rick, today, and he's going to answer some of the questions I have regarding my name. So the first question is, why does my name have only one T in it instead of two? It's actually a pretty simple explanation. So we decided to call you Mateo, and your first doctor's appointment, we walk in and the doctor pronounces your name as Matt. So I looked at your mother and said, we got to drop one T and he's going to be M-A-T-E-O, Mateo, not with a double T. Okay. So how did you first hear about my name? I actually heard about your name from a coworker at AstraZeneca who was going to have a child as well and was thinking of the name Mateo if it were to be a boy. Well, Chris ended up having a girl, couldn't use the name. And I actually fell in love with the name, and that's where the name was born. What other names did you consider calling me instead of Mateo? Your mom and I went with the names Noah, Diego, and there was a Tyler in the mix. Um, so what would my name have been if I was like a girl? Actually, if you were born a girl, we were both on the same page, and your name was going to be Maya. Uh, why is my middle name Vieira? The reason you got Vieira was we felt it was important because when your mom and I got married, she took my last name and it was important to us to carry on the tradition of her name and family within our children. Yeah. Did you know the meaning of my name before you called me, Mateo, or like... I actually don't even know what the meaning of your name is. And the last question is, why do you call me Meathead and Matus instead of Mateo sometimes? The truth of the matter is, is you have many nicknames. So, Metis, Matus, Meathead, Teo, are just forms of... My name? Calling you other than what your name is because we have that type of open relationship where that's how we do things so thank you for listening and that's like the answer to all my questions